the good news is I'm going to Georgia, Atlanta for Miss Universe! morning everyone today we're gonna talk about Miss Universe who are your favorites watch out stay tuned don't forget to subscribe on my channel hello everybody good morning so today is a sit-down vlog since my uh, channel is about family so I think I had to change some of my content it's still gonna be a travel but I won't be doing a lot of family stuff just because of the new law about the child protection so I don't I'm not changing my the name of my channel it's still gonna be Elvis family and travel but I'm going to change a little bit of my content less kids stuff but still travel review and then i think i'm going to add um some kind of a beauty pageant thing just because i'm a beauty pageant fan um this is a disclaimer guys okay i love beauty pageants i've been following miss universe miss world all sort of misses beauty c contests i'm not also an expert of who's gonna win but an ordinary woman who loves beauty pageants. Today, I'm going to do add on my content about beauty pageants. But disclaimer, I'm not a beauty, nothing like that. I'm just uh, a fan. I have nine days off in November. But then, I decided not to go anywhere. Um, the reason why I'm not... Um, traveling in November because I'm trying to save money cuz I'm going to Atlanta Georgia my sister is right back in the Philippines so here I am we're gonna do a sit down vlog, vlog. so the good news is I'm going to Georgia Atlanta for Miss Universe that's my good news. It will be my first time, guys. Mm. I've been watching Miss Universe since um, 2010. We've been placing in the Miss Universe since then. Time for me to see Miss Universe for the very first time. So I'm going to Atlanta. I'm actually, that's my weekend to work. I'm working that day, but I find ways I found somebody to work for me and yes I it's approved I'm off on December 8th and December 9th I work December 7th though so I had to fly December 8th to Georgia and then December 8th is Miss Universe so hopefully I will make it be so I had to go the first flight to Atlanta from Minnesota so I'm going to see my friend as well. Hi Rose and hi Mary Jane. See you in Atlanta. We're gonna shop full of beans. Okay. Gazzini. I can see myself screaming there. Yeah! Uh, I the reason why I'm going to go there is because I really want to see Katriona. I'm a big fan of Gationa since Miss World. I got heartbroken there. Um, I love this woman. She's been following her since Miss World. I got heartbroken. And I kept telling, com make comments on her Instagram to join Miss Universe. And I was so happy when she joined and she won. So that's the reason why I had to see Miss Universe in Atlanta. I'm going to see Katriona, my love. She did so good in Thailand. Number two is, of course, I'm very biased. Miss Philippines Gazzini. 
I love Gazzini. She's so pretty. I don't care. Whatever. It's just, just amazing. And there's one more that I want to see. It's um, Fasai. Miss Thailand. She is beautiful as well. So I have um, top five favorites, personal favorites. And this is based this I won't say this is not equal I think this is bias and my personal only my personal so don't attack me if your candidates are not on my list this is just for me okay my personal and like I said I'm not a beauty pageant expert I'm just a fan and um, so these are my top five favorites so let's start with top five and then to top one with the Miss Universe. All right. Okay, these are my favorites. The first one is Brazil. Uh, she is beautiful and she can talk. Um, I bet she will also be the will be on the top five. Uh, if you look based on her Instagram and communication skills and beauty and her passerella, she'll make it on top five. Um, she was the most followed uh, Miss Universe candidate in 2019. But Gazzini, oh my god, you, us Filipinos, we are the number one fan of beauty pageants and we just... We just did it. We did it. Gazzini now is number one on the most followed followed Miss Universe candidates in on Instagram. So if you guys, my dear Filipinos, if you have not followed Gazzini on Instagram, please follow her. Uh, and if you have no Instagram, in you on. Come on, guys. It's a trend. Instagram is now one of the biggest social. If you want to be a social influencer or if there is somebody you want to follow uh, a social influencer make Instagram they are active Instagram is good I like Instagram better than Facebook to be honest before even candidates come goes to the competition you already know who are the candidates you can stalk them or follow them through Instagram how they look and how they talk what are their advocacies so Instagram is good after Brazil Puerto Rico is also nice so look at her look at that face she's so pretty she can speak English guys she actually also compete on Miss Grand International with Nicole Cordovez she's an expert so she she might she will she might get this miss uh universe um because she knows she can she has the body she has the face she can talk in english she can talk in spanish she is beautiful and she's tall the stars align on her on that night she could be miss universe all right Number three for me is USA. All right. Um, don't get mad at me if I say something not nice to the USA. But uh, she is intelligent. Her, her hair is so beautiful. If she will make it to the top three, she is a very... She can win this Miss Universe. You know why? She is a good speaker. She can talk. This girl can talk. Um, the only thing problem about USA, she's good at communication. But if she doesn't do well with her passerella, and if she won't make it on the top 10, then that's done. But if she will make it to the top 3, she is a winner already. She can talk. Um, I watched her on uh, Miss USA. And if you follow her as well on her Instagram, oh my god, she is, I love the way she speaks, she can talk, her flow of thought, she can, she's just like a Triana, she talks so good. 
in front of the camera she can it's uh, the type of woman that you want to listen for just like a triona you want to like listen to her like talk like oh yeah she's very convincing good speaker so hi miss usa i'm going I, I have not bought the ticket yet it's not out yet but i'm going to buy soon once it's out hopefully they're still available right okay number two for me is i'm actually torn between my number one and then this one miss thailand Fasai. so i've also followed Fasai on her instagram during miss universe with maria maria it'll ring something the miss universe uh, 2017 she was only i think first runner-up or second runner-up i believe and then she joined miss earth she was so beautiful in miss earth i thought she would win miss miss earth in i thought she would win it but she missed the uh, the question portion which is about millennial and she could not answer it right so she didn't make it but uh we filipinos love pasai so uh when she compete in miss universe thailand i watched her miss universe thailand and, and fasai won that competition and every time she posts i follow her on instagram as well beauty fasai has beauty sometimes i could see her like katriona like oh my god why does she look like katriona and why does she walk like katriona and why does she speak like katriona i don't think she copied katriona i'm not really sure but I see Catriona on her as well. Uh, that's why I'm thinking like, oh, she could have that crown. Every time I look at her pictures, I have that vibe that she can, she will be the next Miss Universe. So, so number two is Fasai because, you know, I'm Filipino. There is, like I said, this is a bias opinion, bias, top, top favorites of mine. Because I'm Filipino, of course, I have to pick, um, gazzini uh that's why so this is not really like legit this is just my opinion so don't attack me and i'm not an expert so uh, the reason why i'm saying this this is a bias personal opinion of mine and my my top five favorites so if so of course i want gazzini to win miss universe who wouldn't want Miss uh, Gazzini Universe? And I heard also it's supposed to be in the Philippines where the the Miss Universe is gonna happen, but they decided not to do it. And their goal is to do a back to back, because uh, if it happened in the Philippines and Gazzini gets it, then I know a lot of fans out there will say it's a cooking show because we are aiming for back to back it's really possible to get the back to back venezuela only get the back to back and we want that because we want gazzini to get the back to back uh gazzini is really beautiful as well um she has that firstness she can walk she's beautiful of course and i love if you see her final miss uh bini bini filipinas Oh my god i have goosebumps watching her so that's one reason i really want to go to miss universe is i want to see gazzini as well i'm a big fan of gazzini although um her communication is not that great it's not that like it's not like katriona katriona can really talk uh, language is not a barrier like look uh, miss france iris she won why not gazzini you know gazzini is she's smart but how does she deliver it sometimes it's not confident but uh with her what whatever she's doing now i can see she's with boy abonda she's with pia words back and she's with jonas gaffwood so those people knows what to do so i'm really only aiming for gazzini but if back to back is impossible hey Thailand, i'm your fan i always comment on fasai i always see a crown on her to be honest 
I see a uh, crown vibe on her than Gazzini. But who knows, like I said, I'm not an expert. I think inside me that tells the first, uh, Miss Universe Thailand could win this one. Thailand, hello. Thailand has been really good. I think they, they won um, Miss International and Faces of the Beauty. Thailand won. Even Miss Supra Supranational. They might win that too. Although, hi Rebe, I like you too. I like her video. Rebe, shout out to Rebe, Rebe Rashim. Her YouTube, if you want to see her YouTube about uh, her introduction, YouTube video on Supranational is really good. I'm just like, whoa, I actually had tears in my, cr in my eyes there. So, hi Rashim. Uh, Miss International, she's so sweet. I thought Patch will win, but um, Thailand is so sweet too. So we can't have it all. Um, uh, Miss International Thailand deserves it. She's so, her answer is so sincere. She's so sweet. I love her. So although I, I also did not expect her win, but on that night when her, with her speech, she, it was so genuine. It's from the heart. And it's not rehearsed, it's not memorized, it's so simple, yet uh, it's a great answer. So I think Miss International Thailand deserves it. So, hi! Uh, anyway, so that's it guys. Um, I'm so excited to see Miss Universe in Georgia, Atlanta. So uh, this is just my video for today. I don't have really much going on. I do want to go somewhere and travel in November, but I'd rather save that money for Miss Universe because the, the tickets are so expensive. There is a VIP and that is like 1,000, over 1,000. I, I it's not practical for me to buy that I'd rather spend that on something useful in my house or my family stuff I think I'm going to buy the $249 seat ticket I don't want to buy the the P1 which is only 99 and that is I think that's very far already and I want to be not too close but close enough to see me as universe so what do you think guys who uh, comment below who do you think, who is your personal top 5 Miss Universe 2019? Yun lang po ang aking masasabi niyon. Salamat po! And please don't forget to subscribe on my channel. And like this video. Maybe here. Or here. Sa mga kapamilya natin na gusto talagang malaman kung ano yung mga mga tour tour sa Pilipinas o kahit sa ibang bansa, mag-subscribe lang kayo sa YouTube channel ng aking auntie si Elvis YouTube channel Elvis YouTube ay Elvis Family YouTube channel. Subscribe na. My top two is Gazini and Fasai, but if Miss USA will be on the top three, they're done. USA can nail this question. Easy. Easy. Okay, yun lang po. At sana nagustuhan nyo ang video na to.